ICQB Foundation Level Version 1. Which of the following statements describes a valid test objective? A. To prove that there are no unfixed defects in the system under test. B. To prove that there will be no failures after the implementation of the system into production. C. To reduce the risk level of the test object and to build confidence in the quality level. D. To verify that there are no untested combinations of inputs. Please press pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is C. To reduce the risk level of the test object and to build confidence in the quality level. Because testing finds defects and failures, which reduces the level of risk and at the same time gives more confidence in the quality level of the test object. Let's see why the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is wrong because it is impossible to prove that there are no defects anymore in the system under test. According to test principles 1 in the syllabus, testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects. Testing can show that defects are present in the test object, but cannot prove that there are no defects. Answer B is wrong according to testing principle 7 in the syllabus. Absence of defects fallacy. It is a fallacy to expect that software verification will ensure the success of a system. In other words, testing cannot prove that there are no defects in the system. Answer D is wrong because it, it is impossible to test all combinations of inputs according to testing principles 2 in the syllabus, which sounds like exhaustive testing is impossible. Explanation Moreover, let's look at the section 1.1.1 test objectives in the syllabus, where we can see that the fourth point is reducing the level of risk of inadequate software quality. This is fully consistent with the correct answer C.